Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mama TK. Today, you guys, I'm going to make macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese, yes, in my Ninja Foodie. I have my noodles, elbow macaroni noodles, and instead of using water, I am using chicken broth to um, cook my elbow macaroni noodles in. So I'm going to cook these noodles for uh, about, um, let's say 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, um, because we don't want them too hard, I mean soft, we want them al dente. As you can see here, the noodles are done, um, the steam is coming up, and it is hitting my camera. They are cooked um, to perfection the way that I want them. They are not um, overdone and they are not underdone. They are al dente. I'm adding some butter to the noodles. Butter helps um, them not stick together and also butter helps to give noodles flavor, which that chicken broth um, also help give flavor. And I didn't use Swanson chicken broth. I've used an organic kind of chicken broth to help give the noodles flavor okay stir that butter in really really good okay now that we have our butter in we're going to use our cheese here I have some Munster cheese that I cut off the block I have some mozzarella cheese and I have some Kobe Jack and Monterey cheese you use whatever type of cheese that you desire for your um, macaroni and cheese you know your tasty buds I don't. We're going to stir this macaroni and cheese up um, while the noodles are hot so that it can start to melt and loosen up in here. You can use um, however much cheese you like. Um, I would say that this here was about three cups of cheese all together with the three different types of cheese. Okay, now I also have some cheese Whiz that I would like to add. If you don't want to use cheese Whiz, you can use Belveda cheese. You can use, um, you don't even have to use that. You can just keep using the um, shredded cheese or block cheese. It doesn't matter. That's just what I had on hand, so I put it in there. And I used the whole jar of cheese Whiz. Okay, also you can add a little milk, a half and half. And that's what I'm using, um, some half and half. Um, it was a small container. Can't think off top. I think that was about a cup and a half or two cups of liquid um, when it comes to milk. You stir it in really, really good. Um, if you choose not to put that much liquid in, you don't have to. This just if, The less liquid you put in, the more dense um, your macaroni and cheese will be. Um, we like sticky macaroni and cheese. So therefore, I put, you know, more in because that's what kids enjoy, sticky macaroni and cheese. So now we're going to put macaroni and cheese on the top so that we can get that really, really crispy baked look on the macaroni and cheese when we get ready to let our lid down on our air fryer. Okay, you guys, look at all of that cheese on top. I have it covered really well. Okay, so now you close your lid. You put it on sear salt. I mean... You put on air crisp, I'm sorry, for 400 degrees, and you're going to take the time down, and you're going to do this, um, cook it, remember, 400 degrees, uh, air crisp, and you're going to do this for about uh, six minutes. It's not going to take that long to air crisp it up. At the most, I wouldn't go past seven minutes. So, do between five and seven minutes. And hit the start button. So, you guys, our macaroni and cheese is done. And I look at it. Look at that. Look at that crisp. Look at that crisp. Look at that crispy top. Just as it would look if you had baked it in the oven. And this is on Air Crisp in your Ninja Foodie baked macaroni and cheese but this macaroni and cheese is extremely cheesy it looks good and trust me you guys it tastes delicious isn't that beautiful kids love some good 
cheesy baked macaroni and cheese. If you enjoyed this recipe, give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you try it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And thanks for another Ninja Foodie Chronicle video. Stay tuned, you guys, and have a great day. Peace.